Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz and in today's Excel video, I'll be showing you this new tooltip, value tooltip feature which is released by Microsoft Excel team. And this is really awesome. It is available for Windows and Mac as well. So what you can see on the left side is the Mac version and the right side is the window one. So let's go and dive in and see what we have. So once you highlighted the cell, if you remember, if you used to press F9 and then we used to get the result. That, that is the way how we used to debug the formulas. But now no more pressing of F9, just highlight it and you will get that value. So this works exactly the same way in the windows also. So let me highlight this over here and you can see the preview as well. It doesn't only work on the cell if you are having the formula bar and if you just put it on the formula bar as well, it can show you the results. So it appears like this over here in the windows and as well on the Mac, you can see it's appear over here. So let's go and look at another example over here. So let's see that I have this formula. Okay, so I have this formula over here, which is saying that, let's, let's look on the Windows one. So let's say that I have this formula, which is saying filter. So if I just select the entire one, it will give me the results in this tooltip area. And when I just select only that specific array by clicking it on the array, it will give me the results of the array, what is included, it will do that logical test. So let's say I just wanted to see this array then it will give me the results of that array. And if it is empty, no records, that's the tooltip I have it. So let's come back over here to another third example where we will see that how uh, to debug within a nested formula. So I have a nested formula over here, which is having an if function. So let's say that if I just select over here, array include, it includes a logical test as well. So all I have to do is just press over here uh, next to if and you can see that uh, you get that logical test checking over here and you can just just click over here and you just get the results exactly the way we want it so that's really cool so what what else we have in this one so let's say that for some reason you are not happy with this new value tip or you don't like this new value tip how should we disable that one so what i can do is on the windows machine you can press uh, control or P so that will disable it even while you are editing it uh, it was it is gonna work so let's come and highlight it again so you can see that the preview is not working right now so I'll press control or P and this will activate the preview however on the Mac machine when you come and try to edit the cell and then you try to uh, add that same control option P that would not work so all you need to do is come out of the editing mode and press control or P and now when you just try to highlight it it will not give you the preview now to activate it back again go control or P and when we go back again over here and you will see the preview so that's pretty amazing and one thing what I would like to share it on the Mac is that once you highlight this and if you would just like to grab this tooltip, you can see this hand coming up and you can grab this tooltip anywhere over here or here and you can just see this is pretty cool. So let's go and see whether it's coming back on the same place. No, yes, it's come back on the same place. So just in case if you would just like to move this over here or somewhere, you can just move it with your mouse. And what I feel that we should have one more feature, let's say that when you highlight this, and when you click on this tooltip, then that tooltip value should get copied. So that would be really handy when we are doing some kind of a calculation and you just need to paste that value of that 143 over here. You don't need to go and type it. So you can just simply go and paste it. So if you like this idea in the video description, uh, there is a link where you can vote for this idea. The maximum number of votes we get it, the Microsoft team, the engineering team will definitely look at that request and they will try to implement it in Excel for us. And note my friends that this feature is right now only for Office Insiders and if you'd like to access the Office Insider, you can go and check this link where I have already explained that how you can enroll for the Office Insiders for Mac and Windows as well. And I would love to hear your feedback on this new feature. What do you like about it? What do you dislike it? What do you think that could be better? So do write me in the comment section and I'd be really happy to hear from you. So I'll be seeing you in my next video. Till then, take care. Happy learning. Bye.